to Modern Vibes with Dr. Jerry the First, episode 168. Today, the last day of February 2018, Wednesday, 28 February 2018. My names are Dr. Jerry the First Oguzi. Today, I am looking at life lessons to learn from Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart. One day in the early 1960s, 44-year-old Sam Walton founded his first department store in Bentonville, Arkansas a few years after being forced to let go of his first successful store for contract problems. Since that day, July 2, 1962, Walmart has grown to be the most successful retailer in the world, now a second to Amazon, with over 10,000 stores and more than $200 billion in market value. All of that because of one dedicated and hardworking man who lived by his principles and gave many ambitious people the inspiration to do and grow more. I have read some Walton's autobiography titled Some Walton Made in America. And these are my top four takeaway life lessons from that book. One understand the value of the dollar. Walton never believed in having a flashy lifestyle and was capable of balancing the love of life with keeping expenses at bay. He has seen people selling their companies for little to enjoy the rich experience, then suffer later when it all goes down the drain. He also believed that to provide value to his customers, he had to cut his expenses and be wise with spending money. So he built a philosopher that every penny he saves is a penny saved for his customers. And he created the famous Walton motto, save money, live better. Walton dined at family restaurants. He slept two to a room when traveling with executives. And among all of the 18 airplanes he bought in his lifetime, none of them was brand new. Every time Walmart spends $1 foolishly, it comes right out of our customers' pockets. Every time we save them a dollar, that puts us one more step ahead of the competition. Quote from Sam Walton. Two, protect your success and learn from every mistake. After five years of hard work in Arkansas, Walton eventually managed to outperform his competitors and built the largest and most profitable variety store in the whole region. Unfortunately, he lost everything over a contract mistake. His landlord got greedy and wanted to give Walton's store to his own son, so he refused to renew his lease at any price. To be honest, the man did offer Walton a fair price in exchange for his franchise name and inventory. But this wasn't what Walton wanted. And so he had to leave behind all the success he had built and just went to. But because of his positive mindset, Walton blamed nobody but himself for that mistake and vowed to learn from that mistake and spend double the time reading any future leads. He also realized his family needed someone with low experience who can also hold their best interests. So he encouraged his oldest son, Rob, to become a lawyer. 3. Learn everything you can about your business. Be desperate to learn everything about business and hang around those who know better than you. Walmart stores have dominated the retail industry for years. But did you know who made Walton interested in such business? You won't believe it, but his barber. The first rules Walton ever learned about retail work came from his barber. And then his brothers, who had later grown their variety store, 
into a 60 store chain. Walton also spent most of his Sundays at his manager's house, learning the business and talking about retailing. Even when he left J.C. Penney and moved to Arkansas, he had to find someone experienced to learn from. So he spent his lunch breaks at his competitor's store and copied his best practices. Walton was quoted as saying, Commit to your business. Believe in it more than anybody else. 4. Be competitive. The best word to describe Walton is competitive. He got that from his mother, who taught him to take life seriously and to try to be the best at everything he did. He worked as a lifeguard, waited tables in exchange for meals, and stopped getting allowance as soon as high school began. He also made a considerable sum of money during college despite living through the most prolonged and most prevalent depression of the 20th century. Walton was so competitive that he played baseball, football, and basketball all at the same time and won the state championship in two different sports. Not mentioning climbing up the Boy Scout ranks at a very tender age and being elected president of the town's Bible class. This intense experience helped Walton set his mindset towards achievements and success and understanding the importance of teamwork. He realized early that publicly exercising his ego wasn't the right way to build a strong business. So he invested much in attracting the best, the most talented, and the most loyal people to his team. So summarizing the four life lessons from Sam Walton's life, here we are. Number one, your customer comes first. Give him quality service and earn the rewards a hundredfold. Two, when entering into any contract, read every fine print. Never assume anything, never take anything for granted. Three, learn all you can about the business you want to venture into, even before you venture into it. And keep learning while working that business. Four, to attract talented and loyal people to your team, learn to manage your ego. Be neither too soft nor too hard. Just a middle course will do the magic. Until I come your way again, this is Morning Vibes with Dr. Jerry the First. This program is powered by Top Top Media and Communication Nigeria. All rights reserved. Thank you for listening to this broadcast today. It would please us to no end if you continue to visit our podcast. And so to be able to do that, kindly click on the red subscribe button towards your right to subscribe to our channel. In the same vein, also click on the bell beside the subscribe button so that you can always receive the notification for any new podcast we upload. Also give us a thumb up to like this podcast. These help us to grow. And do help us share the podcast to your friends in the different social media sites you belong to. Click on the share tab just below the podcast and share directly from there. The full text of this podcast is on our blog. And would you want to read it, kindly visit the blog. We have a Facebook page where we also post our podcast on a daily basis. If you're on Facebook, kindly like our Facebook page. The links to our blog and our Facebook page are in the description box right below. Thank you for your attention. Do have a very nice day.